Hello. Hey. What are you doing today on Saturday? Yeah. Well, I tell you what we're doing. We are here at the Love Laughter Music Group. Yes, 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 yeah. yes. We are inside recording the live tracks for the upcoming play, Stud. And who do I have right here? The beautiful Cheyenne Pure, the daughter of Miss Nisi Nye. That is Miss Nisi Nye. <laughs> that is she. Yes. So far, you were in the first taping of the play. Yes, I was. Now we're walking into, by popular demand, mm -hmm. the second part yes. of our second play. Yes. Wow. What, what would you say to someone that hasn't bought their tickets yet? What would you say? Get your tickets. <laughs> get, just go get them. You already know you ain't got nothing to do on the weekend anyway. <laughs> go have a nice time. Get some family. Get some friends. Get your kids. Get your aunties and your uncles and your, and your cousins and your well, friends. Wait, wait. Because this is a family. <laughs> a family. Yes. A family. I said that three times. Mm -hmm. Event. Bring everybody. Yes. It's a message. It's a movement. We're talking about something. We're not just got you didn't think yes. women just got something. No, 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 no. We're talking about something that means something to the world. Yes. You gotta come see what it is. That's and crazy. we are not only here at the beautiful um music group, but we also have the live entertainment going on inside. Would you like to come with me? Or before that, I got the owner himself. Hold on, Ooh, hold on, yeah, hold on, yeah. hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yo, yo, where's Joe? Hey, I'm back. Now, I'm Cheyenne. I got another guest. Got the owner of this beautiful establishment, Ooh. Mr. Joe. We found him. So you can come see us in the play. A shared testimony. Unshamed deliverance. You got to be there November 3rd. That's a Friday. Get your girls. Get your popcorn. Start your car, get there. Can we let you go? go. Okay. The owner. Give us the whole name here. Love and Laughter Music Group. It is so hidden away, you wouldn't even know. That's right. All of this is in the back. That's right. How did you start this beautiful time? Love and Laughter Music, first of all, the meaning of the studio, which is the love of God. Oh! And the joy of the Lord. Come on. All right. <laughs> so you all know the rest of the scriptures right after that. <laughs> the joy of the Lord That's is my it. strength. That's right. <laughs> so love and laughter is a place where we want people to feel the love of God. Even they may not know God or they may not have be close to God or whatever, have any concept of God. But we want them to feel and sense the presence of God. Right. And then the other part of it is laughter is because... You know, a lot of people think that knowing God is all, oh, and no, I gotta stop doing that. I gotta stop doing this. I gotta. But it's about freedom. It's about joy. It's about positive things. It's yes. about total creativity mm -hmm. because God is the Creator. Come on. And therefore, we got the joy of the Lord because He instilled that in us. And so, that's what our studio is about. We're here to to make music that not only honors God, but also that creates an environment of creativity that's safe that lifts people up, that encourages people, that gives people a sense of, of, of what God is wanting to do in their life if they have a relationship with God. That's and so this place is is like church. Except oh. we don't look like church. Oh. We don't collect offerings here. Listen, <laughs> guess what? Yeah. Everybody has gifts, talents. Right. God gave you a talent yes. and yes. you exhortated it. Yes. And now your voice activating it. Mm -hmm. the, he said there's a sound in heaven. And the atmosphere. Yeah, that's right. Since I got here, I've been excited. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, come yeah, on, yeah. Mr. Joe, we're going inside. Come okay, on. Okay, okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna oh, go. Look at the cup. This is a new track. It might sound a little bit different on your headphones. Uh, so we get ready uh, here. Miss Nisi Knight, the phenomenon, the amazing, angelical so, voice to the nation. Are you ready? Tonight. Nine months in my womb, I carried my baby. She was a gift from God. My little girl, my little girl, he gave me. Now she's all grown up I remember when she was a child 
reaching for mama to pick her I would tell her she'll be fine Anthony Kenny Brew, and I'm a production DGA stage manager. I'm actually working on this wonderful production. It's called The Stud, and it's about redemption, and it's a former lesbian that's a preacher that just got delivered, and God hooked her up. It's really fascinating, this story, when I go to rehearsals, reading through it, working with the actors, the segments, the scenes, the props like cue sound cues. So it's normally what I normally do. And I'm enjoying it. Um, it's good to do a play that's redemption. And you would do an altar call at the end that's fascinating. So it relates to the people. I think every person should really see it. There's so many topics and subjects out there that people could, people could deal with. Devil. I serve in notice You can't have my baby And you sure enough can't have my peace Devil, I serve your notice Can't have my peace. Damn. 